Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all the viewers around the world. Uh, welcome to part two, the first dynasty of Egypt. We would like to apologize for um, keeping you waiting um, because we keep discovering um, new information as we uh, go along. We we'll also um, like to pay a special thanks to all our subscribers at the moment. We are currently uh, 150 strong. Um, please continue to um, like, share and subscribe. And this really is um, premier, this is like a premier video. The predecessor to Pharaoh Sheikh Pataki from the first dynasty of Egypt, the fifth king, um, his name is known as, or as we've been given, is Ajep. However, let's um, go back um, to Pharaoh Sheikh Pataki and actually clarify some very important facts because we have two facts that I would like us to, to clarify. Now we know that um, Nama um, from the first dynasty of Egypt, the first pharaoh of the first dynasty of Egypt, actually um, unified both the um, upper and lower Egypt. But what we know is he didn't actually get to wear the crown, the double crown. The first pharaoh to actually wear the, the, the double crown was actually Pharaoh Sheikh Pataki, as you can see here in this picture. Also, if you look at the Palema stone to the left-hand side, you actually see the symbol of a fish. I mean, that's the first that's actually been used in history. So this demonstrates that Pharaoh Sheikh Pataki was actually um, a fisherman. As indicated in his name, Pharaoh Sheikh Pataki means a very, very important person. We're told that um, Pharaoh Ajeb, as his name is told to us, um, ruled um, Egypt um, in the year 2930 BC, and he ruled from between um, eight to 10 years. Um, we're also told that he actually introduced um, a new crown. Uh, we believe in this channel that the actual new crown is called Adi, and the name Ajeb, is actually been pronounced wrong. His actual name is Ade, which is A-D-E. So he introduced a new crown called Ade, which is a, which basically means a crown. Most of the evidence about Pharaoh Ade is actually been lost. However, we were able to find um, certain information about him in the um, Abydos King List, which names him as Mebiape here, as you can see here on the screen. However, we believe that this is not actually his real name. Um, his real name is Ibi Akbere. You know, I repeat, his real name is Ibi Akbere. So the word Ibi actually means a child. And the second word, Akbere, means a basket. So really his name means a child in a basket. For example, uh, Obi in the Yoruba language means the father, Ebi means the grandfather, and Ibi means the child. So the M that you see is actually a Greek word. So we've actually removed the M right here from, we've discounted the M actually from the name because the M is a Greek word. So his name is Ibi Abere, as you can actually see here in his, uh, in the uh, carvings here, look how, if you look into the carving, you can actually see the basket. It's, it's got the sign there. Also, it seems that, you know, during this Pharaoh's reign, it became actually quite popular for the population to carry baskets on their head. Uh, for example, if you look at this picture here, it shows um, Moses as a child in a basket. So you can see where that actual concepts come from. And then subsequent pharaohs also had baskets on their head. For example, here you can see a picture right here of Shabaka from the 25th dynasty. He's actually got a basket on his head. Then you can also look at Serapis Christus from the um, Ptolemy um, dynasty. He's also got um, a basket right on his head. And then you can also see from the 26th dynasty here, B, you know, the, uh, the, the dwarf, who was actually um, 
a God as well. You can see B, who's also got a basket. So you can see where the concept of the basket actually comes from. So Pharaoh Ade or Pharaoh Ibi Akbere was actually buried in Abydos and he's surrounded by um, 64 um, subsidiary chambers. The next Pharaoh after um, Ibi Akbere is known as Shemekhet. Uh, we know his name through a priest um, called Minato. Now, Minato, they tell us, lived um, during the uh, Ptolemy dynasty, which was, I mean, the first uh, Ptolemy ruled between 300, uh, 323 BC to 283 BC. And Ptolemy II, he ruled from between 283 BC to 246 BC. Now they tell us that this um, character named Maneto um, lived between this period. So it would have either been during Ptolemy's dynasty, Ptolemy the first dynasty, or uh, Ptolemy the second dynasty. However, we find no evidence of him ever living. We don't know um, when he lived. Um, we don't know when he actually died. This is an image of Maneto, as you can see here. Um, he is known to have been a priest at the um, cult of um, Serapos Christus. Uh, we believe right here that this um, boss here is, 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 is fake because uh, Maneto could not have deciphered the hieroglyphs because the hieroglyph was only deciphered during Ptolemy V's reign, which was in 196 BC. And we're told that Maneto lived um, during Ptolemy I or Ptolemy II's dynasty. So we believe this character is fictitious and does not exist. This is the uh, Rosetta Stone, as you can see here, which again was uh, commissioned by um, Ptolemy um, V, as I said, in the year 196 BC. As you can see at the top is the hieroglyphs. Um, in the middle is um, demonic um, language, which is very similar to Arabic today. And at the bottom, is the uh, Greek language. This is actually the information that they use or Champollion, who was the Egyptologist, a uh, French Egyptologist, he actually used the Rosetta Stone to decipher the hieroglyphs. Maneto uh, names uh, the pharaoh as Semsem. Um, the name Semsem basically does not make sense. It really doesn't make any sense. When we double checked the name, the cartouche name on the um, Abydos King list, we find again in this channel that uh, the Pharaoh's name is actually Sheshe Mo, as in She She Mo. And that means to realize that's the actual Pharaoh's name. So um, it's actually been um, uh, translated wrong. The Pharaoh reigned. Um, in the year 2920 BC and he reigned for about eight and a half years. The only um, information we have about him is that his high official, that's the only high official of him, is known again as Inuka, which basically again means to count from inside. So that was his high official. The pharaoh was buried in a tomb which is surrounded by um, 67 um, subsidiary um, chambers. The last pharaoh of the uh, first dynasty is known as Ka. Um, they say this means um, to rise your arm. The pharaoh Ka reigned um, in the year 2910 BC and he reigned for about 33 years. Uh, most of the information about him is been is basically been um, been lost. However, uh, Meneto again is mentioned um, about this pharaoh. Meneto, um, the Greek priest from the uh, cult of Serapis, is again mentioned as giving Ka, um, Pharaoh Ka, the name Ubinitis, which is supposed to be a Henolitic uh, name. Just like we found about the uh, uh, previous pharaoh. Uh, Meneto is a fictitious 
um, character and there's no evidence of him actually um, ever existing. We believe that this character was actually um, made up because he could not have deciphered the um, hieroglyph because the time they said he, he lived, um, the hieroglyph hadn't actually been deciphered at the time. And him giving a, a, a henolytic name um, should, not be, uh, should not be believed because um, the Hellenistic period, we believe in this channel, is actually an AD uh, period and it's not a BC period. As you can see here, um, it shows uh, the portrait which is called Fiam. Um, it shows a priest um, from the uh, cult of Serapis and this was from the reign of Antonius Pius um, who reigned um, between 138 AD and 146 um, AD. So this is an AD period and not a BC period. Pharaoh Ka um, is also mentioned on um, a Palema stone as um, celebrating um, a coronation. Um, it is believed that this coronation is celebrated every year um, by each, um, each Pharaoh or each king. Pharaoh Ka was um, buried in a, a very um, large tomb. And Pharaoh Ka is regarded as the uh, last pharaoh of the uh, first dynasty of Egypt. However, two more pharaohs are mentioned on the um, um, Abydos king list, which is Pharaoh Snefeka and Pharaoh um, Horus Ba. Um, those two had uh, very, very um, short reigns. You may ask, where are these people living today in Africa? Well, as you can see in the map, um, the Yorubas actually live in um, the west of Africa and you can see the region in which they uh, currently live and they're still there today. This brings us to the end of part two, um, the first dynasty of Egypt. We hope that you um, like um, the video. The greatest um, injury we can inflict on our enemy is to leave them to their own misery. Thanks for watching.